Nowadays, in our busy lives, we bring you fast-track info about various aspects of life. Welcome to our channel where we present quick and insightful information. Today's topic, solar storms and their effects on phone signals. Our journey begins with the sun, the star at the center of our solar system. The sun is a massive ball of hot plasma, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. Its core reaches temperatures of around 15 million degrees Celsius, or 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, where nuclear fusion occurs, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing immense amounts of energy. The sun's surface, or photosphere, is slightly cooler at about 5,500 degrees Celsius, that's 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit. Above the photosphere lies the corona, a hot outer layer that reaches temperatures of up to 2 million degrees Celsius, or 3.6 million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun constantly emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind, which flows outward through the solar system. A solar storm also known as a geomagnetic storm is a disturbance in Earth's magnetosphere caused by variations in the solar wind. These disturbances are often triggered by solar flares and coronal mass ejections or CMEs. Solar flares are sudden bursts of energy and light, while CMEs involve the expulsion of massive amounts of solar material into space. Solar flares occur when magnetic energy stored in the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released. CMEs on the other hand are large clouds of plasma and magnetic field that erupt from the sun's corona and travel through space. When these solar phenomena reach Earth, they interact with our planet's magnetic field, causing geomagnetic storms. Solar storms can significantly impact our technology, particularly phone signals and GPS systems. The influx of charged particles can interfere with the radio waves that our devices rely on for communication. This interference can cause dropped calls, poor signal quality, and even temporary blackouts of communication satellites. In addition to affecting phone signals, solar storms can also disrupt power grids. The geomagnetic-induced currents can overload transformers and other electrical equipment, leading to power outages and grid failures. A notable example is the 1989 Quebec blackout caused by a powerful solar storm that left millions without power. While solar storms can cause disruptions, they also create one of nature's most beautiful phenomena, auroras. When charged particles from the sun collide with atoms and molecules in Earth's atmosphere, they excite these particles, causing them to emit light. This results in stunning displays of auroras, also known as the northern and southern lights, which can be seen in high-latitude regions. The colors of auroras vary based on the type of gas involved and the altitude of the collisions. Oxygen at higher altitudes produces red and green lights while nitrogen can create blue or purplish red hues. These dazzling displays are a direct consequence of the energy from solar storms interacting with Earth's atmosphere. Scientists monitor solar activity using various space-based and ground-based observatories to predict solar storms. Early warnings can help mitigate the impacts on technology and power grids. Agencies like NASA and NOAA continuously track solar activity to provide forecasts and alerts. Solar storms remind us of the sun's immense power and its influence on our planet. While they can disrupt our technology, they also give us the mesmerizing beauty of auroras. Stay tuned for more fascinating explorations of our universe. For more quick facts and in-depth insights, please like and subscribe.